Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Matt's Finds. I want to thank all my subscribers out there. You guys rock. Thanks for all the views and likes. Appreciate that very much. We've been hitting the thrift stores and yard sales hard, so here's a couple of cool things that we have found. This right here is a vintage 1970s Mickey Mouse coin bank. This was made by PlayPal Plastics Incorporated. It is missing the bottom plug, but that's easily replaceable. I mean, they're all universal. But this is pretty cool to be a vintage Mickey Mouse. I did some research on it, and it's worth a pretty good little penny. It's not like, you know, in the hundreds of dollars range, but it's probably about 30 bucks. And I probably only paid like four bucks for this, but I didn't think it was vintage at first, but then I started like looking around and checking features out on the bottom and on the front plate right here where it says uh, Walt Disney... And it's got the PlayPal plastics. I don't know if you can see that in there or not, but it's embedded into the plastic. But pretty cool little find. But also in the same glass case beside that, we was able to find this coin bank. This is a Little Mermaid, and she's using a fork to brush her hair. So I don't know if that's something. I didn't really watch the Little Mermaid movies growing up, but... um. Is that something that was common? She used a fork to brush her hair with, but looks like she's in like a gown dress for a ball or something, but it's a coin bank also. And it doesn't seem to be vintage. I tried looking it up and I couldn't find a year on it, but I do have an original sticker stamp on there where it was $10 at one time. But um, I couldn't really find any other info about this. So I'm sure this might've been one of those uh, buy this at Disneyland type of things or Disney World. But a pretty cool find right there for all the Disney fans. And we got one more Disney thing to show you guys. And this right here is pretty cool, but it sucks though. But it's missing the top half. But this right here is a 40th anniversary of Disneyland cookie jar. And like I said, it's missing the top half of the castle. This was made by Nestle Food Company. It's limited edition. It says it's number 46,569 out of 100,000. So it doesn't seem too limited to me. That's a that's an awful lot of them. But it was made in China. And uh, I mean, it could make a cool planner or something if you don't want to use it for like a cookie jar. But I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that has the top in great shape and maybe has the bottom that's cracked or something that needs this. But like I said, you could probably put you like some basil or mint or something like this and use it as a windowsill flower pot. I don't know repurpose it it'd be pretty cool but i just thought i'd show you that out there and you can see how it's stamped on the bottom right there the number and it's a pretty cool little pickup i like that so we're gonna go to the next thing this right here is pretty cool check this out this is uh all i know is when i first picked it up it said skateboard and i started reading and i learned pretty much it's a um avon bottle basically but this is from the 70s and what's cool about this is it has never been opened until I opened it up on the top side right here, it peeled the little sticky part off and the bottle inside is still full of the liquid. But basically what this is, is like a, a children's bubble bath and um, it's pretty vintage. Uh, like I said, it's from the 70s, so you can tell by the skateboard design that that's, that's in really great shape. And here's the bottom out there. You guys can pause the video and read the bottom right there. But the box itself is cool. Check out the image that's on there. And then it's like on the back it says, uh, a new sport rising to national prominence is the fast-paced thrilling art of skateboard riding all across the country, specially designed skating areas such as parks, ramps, bowls, and pools are crowded with enthusiasts displaying their dexterity and maneuvering their colorful customized skateboards at top speed. And it goes on and on. But it's pretty cool, man, because this is basically saying, like, you know, this is skateboarding's a new sport it's like right when it come out like whenever i got into like skateboarding when i was young um it was already been around forever like tony hawk was already like the man and you had like all the different crews like birdhouse and element and stuff so this takes it way back so that's pretty cool find right there uh we found an autographed author book this is a book called success in small business is no laughing matter and here's a picture of the guy on the back and like i said here's the front of the book but on the inside we have his autograph right there and this says to Lo december 7th 1981 to loyal erwin lambeth and norman perry supporters over many years marion and peter ballinger 
continuing success in our fun industry. And then it's got Phil John. And it says on the front, it says, J. Phillips L. Johnston. But I guess he just autographs Phil John. So pretty cool. There's a lot of people out there that like to collect autograph books and stuff. So this would be no different. It's another autograph book you can pick up from me. All right, so let's check these out right here. These are pretty cool. These are vintage bottles from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, let's start with the first one right here. Let's see. This one is the 1988 Interbev com Convention. So it says Interbev Convention 1988. And it's got Atlanta Peaches on the back. And on the front side, it says Owens and Brockway or Brockway. And glass recycled was basically saying like this was like a limited edition bottle that you could have got if you was at that Bev convention at that year from 1988. So I was only like two years old when this was made. So pretty cool little bottle to find. It's empty, of course. It's been open, so I'm sure whatever was in it. The top says Atlanta, Georgia Interbev convention with a peach on it, but it doesn't really show um you know what was in it. So. Let's see, and on the bottom it is stamped Owens, Illinois with a B minus. All right, so let's check out the other one that we found. This right here is a 1982 NSDA convention, Atlanta, Georgia, as it says up on the top. Pretty nice colors on there. It's pretty nice. Um, IBIE, International Beverage Industry Exposition. And on the front it says, A City Risen from Ashes. It has like a, it looks like an eagle and I'm assuming maybe like um, a subway or something right here. A vintage looking car and on this side it's got like a cannon and stuff. Smoke cloud. It's a pretty cool bottle. It's pretty unique right there. So I know a lot of people that collect bottles. Alright, so um, I want to give a shout out to a channel that I watch all the time. I'm pretty sure they're not even aware of my existence, but they do pretty much the same thing where they go to yard sales and thrift stores and they flip stuff on eBay too and stuff. But uh, shout out for them. Their name is Thriftmine. I really enjoy watching you guys' channel. So I'm going to try to find you guys' address so that I can send y'all this right here that I found at the thrift store because I know how much he likes those cat products and anything that I see cat from now on I'm going to think of him and say hey we gotta send that to him but I uh, thought this is a pretty cool clock uh, a lot of a lot of people like collecting logo stuff like you know I collect tools and I use a lot of tools in my how-to videos that I also do on this channel and thought this was pretty cool so I'll be sending this to you guys so hopefully you'll be watching this one day and you'll see what I'm talking about when I send it to you. Alright, so to end it up we got some more of the vintage advertisements I've been showing you guys lately that we found a huge pile of so we're just going to start and go through some of these right here and if you want to check it out further in detail you could just pause the video but I'm going to go through a bunch of these real quick so we found this we got a 49 Studebaker we got a Plymouth Wagon these are all original advertisements for, you know, the car back then. This is a 41 Plymouth. And on the back is a Buick advertisement. This right here is a Prestone Antifreeze advertisement. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back you got another advertisement for old cars. So these are all pretty cool advertisements. Some of these are front and back. Join the many thousands switching to Plymouth. And then on the back side, it's got a Canadian Travel Bureau advertisement. And so some of these are from the 40s. Some of these are from the 50s. Let's see. This is a 36 Chevrolet advertisement. You got to keep in mind, these were magazines that people would buy and they would read and that would tell you what was coming out that year. You couldn't just look it up. You couldn't just be like, what's the new 2020 Chevrolet truck look like or something? No, you had to wait for a magazine to come out and show you what it looked like. There's an old Chevrolet commercial advertisement. On the back side, you got some like cool stuff on the back. More banks and traveling. So it's trying to get everybody to travel back then. Here goes our old Buick 8. So that's pretty cool. And on the front side, it says children. Like 
tradition. Something that looks like a sailor or something like that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button down below, and I'll see you guys next time at the happy thrifting out there, guys. Enjoy your week. Peace.